All right, in this video, let's talk real quick about how to graph an exponential function in my math lab. So this problem is asking me to graph f of x equals 3 plus 4 to the power of x minus 1. So when I look at this equation, the base of my exponential is 4. I have a vertical shift up 3 units, and then I'm going to have a horizontal shift to the right 1 unit. So when I click to enlarge the graph, first thing I want to do is choose the exponential tool. And if I hover my mouse over this icon, it pops up and says exponential tool. So I'll click on that. And the basic exponential function always passes through the point 0, 1. That's its y-intercept. So I'm going to click that point, and then I'll translate the graph from there. So I'm going to drag this dialog box up. So the first thing I like to do is make sure the base is set appropriately. In this case, I have a base 4 exponential, and that's what the base is. I would change that if I need to. And so we said we had a vertical shift up three units. So down here in the vertical shift bar, I'm going to move that up three units. And then we said we had a horizontal shift to the right one unit. So I'm going to do my horizontal shift to the right one unit. Now once I've entered all of that, I'll just exit that dialog box, click Save, and then it plots that graph for me. Now let's discuss how to graph a logarithm. So in this problem, I'm being asked to graph f of x equals log base 2 of x. And there's more to this problem than just that. I'm being asked to graph the exponential 2 to the x and its inverse log base 2 of x. But let's just discuss the logarithm real quick. Now, this is a pretty basic log function. In front of the logarithm, the coefficient is 1. So there's no vertical stretch or compression. Or the vertical stretch is a factor of 1. And then there's no horizontal stretch or compression, right? Because it's 1 times x. So its factor, its horizontal stretch or compression factor is 1. I I don't have any vertical or horizontal shifts going on here either. So I'm going to select the logarithm graph and click the logarithm tool here. And every logarithm in its general form passes through the point 1, 0. So I'm going to start there. Okay, let me drag my dialog box up here. So again, the leading coefficient of the logarithm is 1. So there's my stretch factor. The coefficient of x is 1. So there's my horizontal stretch factor. And then there are no vertical or horizontal shifts on this graph. Now, notice that the base of this logarithm is not correct. The default is e. But when I look at my logarithm, it's a base of 2. So I just want to make sure that I change that to be 2. So when I have all of that entered, I can exit the graphene box and then from there click save and check my answer. 